Don't paint me thankless Just have to say this No, you down the way you move Lost in your fragrance Still makes me anxious It doesn't feel right not knowing you You never show me or tell me the way that you're feeling Feeling Oh Hello. This week has been so different than any other week I have had in a very long time. I have promised myself to make sure that I'm writing down all my tasks so that way my head feels connected to my body. I've also promised myself to get outside and move, and I've promised myself to sketch. And I would say that I have done two and a half out of the three. And that sounds funny, but it is technically true. I have gotten outside just not every day, not as much as I've wanted to, but I have been doing my to-dos and I have been painting. And I've been painting in a completely different way than I have been painting the last like three to five years of my life. Promise myself, like I said, to get outside. Well, it has been really cold, really snowy, and I got outside anyway. I made a point to get outside, <laughs> even though it's the coldest day ever. <laughs> it's really nice, actually. I need to do this more often. The kids and I uh, went for a walk, and then they are inside now eating hot chocolate, and, and I figured I should say hi to you. I am trying to hold myself accountable and get out more and move. That is what I did this morning. It's just so pretty. We don't normally have this type of sky in Colorado. Normally, it's really, really sunny. It feels good to move and to get outside. Not only did I get outside, but I also have been taking a vitamin D3 supplement, and I think that's helped too lift my mood a little bit uh, because we haven't been seeing the sun so much in Colorado these days. It's nice to, I don't know, have an extra boost. So I have done that and like I said, I did kind of get outside. Now with getting outside, it has made me appreciate nature more. I have been researching tons of different houses because like I said in my last video, I just, I want to get out of this condo. It has jump-started me to make an effort into researching different areas that I would like to move to. Um, I am totally up for moving into more of a remote area, uh, the only holdup is internet because my husband does work from home luckily, but he does need internet to work and it needs to be a high enough speed for him to be able to do what he does. I have been doing that a ton. I've also been pulling out a lot of inspiration from uh, images that I have that I've taken over the years because it is snowy out here and I'm not that great at painting snow yet, but um, I also pulled out like postcards. I collect postcards from all different places so that way I can use them as inspiration to paint different things. Now when I pull from postcards like this, they're literally just inspiration. I don't just draw what you see. Pulled out all these postcards that I have. I have a stack of them here. I just grabbed a few and like I said, I've also bought a few things. Now I haven't used them yet. I was too eager to get started. And so I, I really just got started. I started off with this. I was gifted this. It's a watercolor postcard. They're Strathmore mixed media watercolor. No, it's not mixed media. They are Strathmore watercolor paper. So I've been using these and I thought that it would be really nice to come up with some paintings that I could have on hand. If someone sent me something nice, they sent me some happy mail, then I would have something to give back to them. 
I'm really excited about this. And I'm really enjoying this style of painting. I haven't done this style of painting really ever before, honestly. When I started with watercolor, I uh, was obsessed with Alyssa Burke and it was immediately a sketchbook situation. It was never really drawing from life. I also have this picture up here, right up there, that I painted. This painting is not a realistic, type of painting. It's more like a stylized version of a landscape. So I have done something kind of similar to this, but it's just not exactly this. I wanted to, I wanted to try it out. I want to actually go large with it, um, but I want to get techniques down first. I have uh, started a little sketchbook here and I've done one in it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this paper, but it's a good way to practice technique. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I did finish my old sketchbook. I did finish this one, so that's why I moved on to the other one. This is a, let's see, this is a Strathmore Mixed Media paper sketchbook in the 500 series. Like I said, not a huge fan of the paper, but a good way for me to practice technique. So I will continue doing that. I also have, so I got the sketchbook. I also have this ceramic palette for mixing and I pulled out my tube watercolors because a lot of these paintings like this in particular, it has three colors, just three, that's it. I can put the three colors in this palette and I can start mixing. I have not used this yet, but I, I just got it and um, I'm excited to give that a go. I also got some max masking fluid. I was gonna say frisket, but this is just regular masking fluid. And I also got, because masking fluid will ruin your brushes, I got a um, masking fluid brush. So that way I don't ruin any of my good brushes. I've pulled out all my brushes and put them in a cup. I don't have very many, but I pulled out even my old silver black velvet brushes that I don't particularly like because the, the uh, how do I say it? The cap right here doesn't stay on very well, so they tend to open up on me and stuff like that. But I did pull these out so that way I had them available. A spray bottle, you know, I've just pulled out all the things to get me started. It's interesting because I haven't used my ballpoint pen in a while. I have been doing ballpoint pen in my Hobonichi, but I haven't used my ballpoint pen uh, in these at all. I, Not to say that I don't want to, I would like to. I just don't know how to incorporate it yet, um, but I will figure that out. Needless to say, I, the last few weeks I've been totally uninspired and this week, I want to say by getting outside and putting my focus on something else, my other hobbies have really actually inspired me to do this hobby. Anyway, uh, that is what's happening this week and I'm excited to share with you other things that happen and other paintings that come about and we'll just see where this takes us. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and until next time. I'll see ya. Maybe there's parts of you That I'll never know I get impatient This constant waiting Just wanna be the one that you come to We act like we're ageless I don't wanna waste this Time With you and That's just how it goes Maybe there's parts of you That I'll never know